and welcome back to Leiden University YouTube channel. My name is Claire Wolf and I'm a Latin American Studies Master's student. This is my third video um, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to find housing in Leiden and The Hague. Um, so I know this is a subject that is brought up a lot. I have been there, I have done it, I have found housing in Leiden and I'm here to share with you guys uh, all my top tips basically. So there are five ways how you can get housing in Leiden and Hague. I'm going to go through each of these individually but I'm going to quickly run through what they are. So option number one is to go through Leiden University Housing Office. Option number two is to go through um, non-profit housing agencies. Number three is to go through private housing agencies. Option number four is to look on websites online that are sort of like offering rooms. And option number five is to use good old Facebook. So I'm gonna go through each of these individually. Um, but number one bit of advice that I can give you guys is really just start as early as possible. I'm talking as soon as you've done your application, start looking. Um, the reason for this is basically, there are loads of students. Leiden and The Hague is full of students and everybody wants somewhere cheap and nice to live that's central. Um, so there really is quite a shortage of housing and um, it is possible but like I said the best way to find housing is apply as early as you can. So the first option is to get a room using Leiden University Housing Office. Leiden University Housing Office only has a limited number of rooms available. Housing is actually allocated through the University Housing Office on a first come first serve basis and you don't need to wait to get your acceptance confirmation from the university before you apply for housing. Uh, so this basically means you've got even more chance of finding somewhere to live and then of course if you're not accepted into the uni they will actually return that money to you. So if you're thinking about finding housing on your own and you don't want to go through the university housing um, system, um, I'd just like to sort of like let you all know it is very, very, very time consuming and it can be very, very, very stressful. So the first way to find housing um, on your own would be to use a non-profit housing agency. So a non-profit housing agency is pages like Duo, that's D-U-W-O, rooms.nl or housing anywhere. I would say this is the second most reliable way of finding housing because it's reliable. It's an official um, set of companies that, that help students find housing and you know there's not going to be any complications um, regarding sort of contracts and all of that sort of thing. The third way is to um, use a private housing agency. There are a couple of those in Leiden. Some of these include Remax and Camerad. Um, the best thing that I would say would be to keep looking on their website, send the emails, give them a call, um, because housing is very, very scarce. In my um, experience, when I arrived to Leiden, and I didn't have housing, really wouldn't recommend that, um, you'd go to the estate agents and no one would have any rooms available. But if I would have just sent an email like two, three weeks before, maybe something would have come up. So this is what I'm saying. It's just really important to send out those emails really, 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 really far in advance. So the fourth way to find housing is through an online website. So these are pages like Caminet and Camelidon. Basically, students or anyone actually can put on their uh, rooms, studios or apartments that they're renting. The one thing I would say about that is you've got to just make 100% sure that A, the room exists, B, um, you kind of know exactly what you're getting. Uh, sometimes the photos aren't that good, so if you can, make sure you go and check out the room before you move in. And if you can't, um, I'd maybe suggest like getting the tenant to send you like a video of the place and just making sure that they send you all the official documentation so you actually know that the room is legitimate. And the fifth way to find housing is to use good old Facebook. There's loads of sort of student pages like Student Housing Leiden, uh, Student Housing The Hague, and uh, basically people will just quite informally put up rooms that they're renting. Like I said before, you really just have to make sure that these, um, these rooms or these apartments are legitimate. Things to look out for would be stuff like bad spelling or the person says that you can't come and see the room. Also, you can make sure the room is legitimate by checking up like the address of the house. Um, and if you know anyone in Leiden, make sure they go and check it out for you and all of that sort of thing. So pricing, uh, housing in Leiden realistically is going to cost you anything from 300 up to about 700, 800. Uh, me personally, I pay for 85 and I still live about 20 minutes by bicycle away from the city centre. From my experience of trying to find housing, um, I know lots of people decided to live in The Hague. I personally actually lived in The Hague for about three weeks to a month because I couldn't find anywhere to live. And the train connection's great. So don't be sort of upset if you find yourself living in The Hague. The connection's really good. And like I mentioned before, 
if you're living in Leiden but you're a little bit further out, you can cycle anywhere across Leiden in about 20 minutes anyway. So guys, those are my top five tips for finding housing in Leiden and uh, The Hague. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you check out my previous videos. One was about uh, transport all the most important things about transport in Leiden and The Hague. And my very first video was actually how to apply to Leiden, if you still haven't got that far. Also make sure you check out Leiden University website, um, because they do have a lot more detailed information on how to find housing, and they have all the links as well to all these different website pages. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you all again very soon.